Hey, what's up? This is the Stoic Man log for September 1st, 2024. In the last couple of days, I have been doing a lot of work, a lot of internal work. And a lot of that work has required me to look deeply into myself, into parts of me that I didn't want to look at, into parts of me that I had repressed because I don't want those parts of me to be shown in my personality. Does that mean that I'm being fake? Absolutely not. I am still being myself. I'm just not being my whole self. And I recently discovered that I think this, this is the real purpose of life or in life, however you want to say it, is for man and woman kind to be whole. It's for the human being to be whole. And I understand that there are parts of ourselves that we shouldn't show because this could be used against us. Other human beings can use the information to uh, con us into things, to manipulate us into things. For example, if I reveal that I am a people pleaser, that I love to uh, tend to people's needs and to uh, always say yes, well, someone who watches that, well, someone who hears that can then say, well, I'll just ask Leo for X, Y, Z, and he'll do it because he's a he's a people pleaser. But I feel like it's more than that, right? Because I, I can say I'm a people pleaser. I love making sure that everyone around me is okay. But if I look at that, if I look at all the things that I don't want to be, like I don't want to be rude, I don't want to be unkind, I don't want to be aggressive, I don't want to be mean or cruel, and I say I have the capacity to be cruel and mean and rude and sarcastic and cynical and all these ugly things. I, I can be those things, but I choose not to be. I choose not to be those things. Then I can pay close attention and be fully present when someone is trying to manipulate the situation to their advantage. I can step up and say no. And I can set a boundary without being rude. I can set a boundary without being aggressive or mean or cruel and essentially teach people that it's not okay to treat me that way. But most importantly, teach myself that I can set a boundary and that it doesn't mean that I'm rude and that I'm mean or cruel. And then I can be more complete. I can be more whole and not hurt others and at the same time not hurt myself. Because by saying yes to others, sometimes I say no to myself, which hurts me which means that I am being mean anyway. I'm being mean and cruel to myself in allowing other people to manipulate the situations in their favor. Like I mentioned in other videos, these videos are meant for my children. But if you're watching this and you're not one of my kids, but it benefits you, then good, good. At the moment, I have three children. I have my oldest, Leah, my firstborn. I have Luna, my middle child, and I have my youngest, Ezekiel whom I love very much, and I hope that you grow up to be beautiful human beings, but more importantly, whole human beings. And you're not fragmented and divided, even though I know that some of you have gone through terrible things, and uh, you're so resilient. I'm talking about you, Lenny. The fact that you've overcome so much, I'm so proud of you for that. And I'm really sorry for your loss, babe. I really am. But I hope that you, Luna and Ezekiel, can look back at these videos and, and see what dad has been working on. And not only has he been working on himself, but he's been working on, on himself for you. And these videos are a part of raising you and helping you deal and face with terrible things of, that life has to offer. It's not all terrible. It's got a lot of beautiful things too. But I really want you to be prepared for both the good and the bad so that you can appreciate the good and also learn to appreciate the bad and extract whatever lesson those bad, quote, bad things have to offer you. I want to thank you for picking me to be your dad <laughs> and for allowing me the opportunity to mess up and to correct my mess ups and to be a part of your lives. I love you so much, so journey well. And if you're watching this and you're not one of my kids, well, I just want to say to you, thank you for tuning in. 
Um, the fact that you're tuning in tells me that you are serious about living a whole life, a holistic life. I don't know how you say that. Uh, I guess a good way to put it is that you're interested in living a life that is whole, that is complete. And if you tune in on a regular basis, thank you. Uh, don't forget to leave encouraging messages for others in the comments. And uh, I'll see you in the next video log.